I know you read and I know you know your your friend uh uh, uh Mark Breland got uh let go by Wilder's team. Uh you, you have any thoughts on that, man? Uh what do you think about you know I, I talked to Mark today, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Mark talk a lot. But look, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. You know, Mark Breland did what any trainer would do to save his fighter. You know, you you know, you you know, over the years that you, you know, you train a guy, you get to know his habits, you get to know him personally, you know, and you realize that this is a business. But at the same time, you have to have a heart. You know, a lot of fighters keep saying, oh, I want to go out on my shield. I want to go out on my shield. But it depends on how you go out on your shield. You know, mm -hmm. if you're taking a beating, that could be like threatening. And... I tell everybody watching that fight, I would have stopped the fight sooner. I wouldn't even given him that kind of opportunity that Mark gave him. Mark let him go as 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 long as he could go because Mark know that Deontay can hit you with one punch and knock you out. Mm -hmm. That that's what he know. He knows this. But at the same time, he saw Deontay taking too many punches. He saw Deontay get dropped. And he saw him getting hurt. So why let a man take a beating when he don't have to? You know, you can leave the fight another day. You know, last year in the sport of boxing, four guys were killed in, inside of that ring. That's a lot of people. Yeah. One is too many. Mm -hmm. Four, we lost four people. And as a result of them getting beat up. You know, mm -hmm. that's just the, that's the way it is. That's our sport, you know. Mm -hmm. And if we don't protect these fighters, so many fighters will be hurt. This is why you have a referee in there. Mm -hmm. Look, the referee was about to stop the fight. He was about to jump in. But it just so Mark beat him to the draw. And as a fighter, you know, being myself as an ex-fighter, you know, I would want, I would be more than happy to have someone in my corner who gave a shit about me. Hmm. I don't want nobody in my corner who don't give a damn about me. That's just plain, simple facts. You know, hmm. go out on your shield. What's that? <laughs> number one, you shouldn't have cut in there with a big heavy suit on. That's number one. Hmm. Who you blame for that? Hmm. You know, you know, you're looking to blame somebody. and You're looking all over. And you blame the guy who care about you. Someone who knows that, who knows you and knows that you didn't have it that night. Okay, the man made a call. He made a judgment call on your behalf. He probably saved your life. Again, we lost four people last year in the ring. He would have been the first one this year if that wouldn't happen. So he should be thanking Mark Raylan, not finding Mm -hmm. and, and, and was Mark was had Mark been with Deontay his whole career, like his whole pro, pro career? Uh, not, not for the first few fights. So that's but, over like okay, that's Mark that's like, got there early though. Over like thirty fights, man, and one he takes one loss and he's making this dramatic change is is very I I can't respect that man. And, and they're using him as a scapegoat, which I don't I don't understand why. Well, everybody look for excuses all the time. Yeah, you know. But the thing about it, when you when you're a team. You win together and you lose together. You know, look, it's hard in the sport of boxing to go undefeated. That's, that hardly happens in this sport. You know, sometimes you have a bad night. Okay. But <laughs> just because you have a bad night, that's not the end of the world. You can always come back. Everybody wants to win all the time. Yes, we do. We all want to win all the time. <laughs> You know, I mean, yeah. who wants to lose? Nobody wants to lose. Everybody yeah. wants to win. But sometimes things happen and it ain't your night. You yeah. know, and you have to know it ain't your night. So you know what? You live to fight another day. And Mark gave him that opportunity to turn around and say, you know what? We're going to be better next time. But he gets mad because the guy did his job. You know, you don't only 
You don't just only pay a guy to train you. You pay a guy to look out for you, to make sure that you're okay inside of that ring. This is why you train so much and train so hard. You train for this. Mm -hmm. But when it ain't there, it ain't there. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. And you get mad and fight a guy? You know what? I would never go back if mm -hmm. that was me.